Isn't that neat? The whole back of it's, like I said, it's flat, so it butts right up against one of these backpacks that has the stand at the bottom. I'm gonna hold my washer on my back. All right, I got that the 140S set up there in a couple minutes. And I got laying down to bring the hose and the blower. I got laying down so I can attach the hose uh, easily. And I'm gonna start moving some of this rock out of the way up here and a little bit of this out of the way. And we're gonna head back to camp and have lunch and bring Amy back and some more stuff and get digging. But uh, I wanted to try this. I got some two-way radios found in the uh, a drawer put fresh batteries in them and let's see thing bugs yes, sir. <laughs> all right everyone just got the 140s set up for the very first time it's about to get its first scoop full of dirt its first shovel full i get in here and start i moved all these rocks here already big rocks I try to if I find a good amount of some decent gold in here, I'm gonna, all these rocks will be gone. Um, uh, ready for a first clean out here, but yep, a brand new 140s. I got the lift gate, the air gate open just a little bit in the back, lets a little bit of the air out to get more vibration. So we'll turn the motor up here a little bit and get going, but. This thing has, hasn't even gotten dirty yet. Doesn't even have a scratch on it. All right, let's get going. Uh. Top hopper shaking. That looks pretty good. That's, that's about a oh, about only a quarter of the way up. But I heard it suck in some sand from down there, so let's get that safely up there. <laughs> oh, where's the exhaust? All right, we ought to be good. Here's the first shovel of the new 140S. On a great claim. Ugh. Wow, shovel's dang hot. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. You're gonna need to turn it up just a little bit. Drop the ripple tray down a little bit. All right, let's go. I did a little run. Not a whole lot, but the blower was making funny noises, so I went over there and adjusted the choke a little bit, and it died. So just uh, I decided to go ahead and do a quick clean out and see if that little hole there we're getting anything. And uh, got a couple little specks and a wasp. Ugh, they're black and yellow, isn't that those those hornets? Yeah. Ah! Go over there. <laughs> Let's see. Got these really weird spider things everywhere. They make like a swirly shape in there, and I guess they hide down in the bottom. Then I'll notice these all over here this year coming out. So let's see. There's. We're going to do one more run. There's a piece of lead. Do one more run there, and uh, if it doesn't get more and better. All right, see it right to the right of that. You hold that, hon. Oh. Hard to see. There's a little speck right there. Move it up a little bit. Ooh, now I can have two Gs. How's that going to... I know which one's which. Oh. Then wash it. All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, open it up about twice as much here. Still haven't been able to punch down very deep, and I think right in here I've hit bedrock because it's just 
break shelly and breaking apart stuff that kind of dives here and it must go into that rock that's right there i've been trying to get him out i think it dives again so i think what it's doing is going up towards this hillside on this side it's this rock right here you see all this rock and it's not that deep right there i don't know if these came out of there or as i'm getting deeper here but i just pulled the pan here or the riffle tray <sighs> Behind the first, this isn't really a riffle because it's underneath the little studs that stick up. This is technically the first riffle, but look at, I see some chunks in the tray there. See those right before my fingertip? There's about one there and one up under in the shade there. I can almost pick them out of there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, let's get this panned out. Cool. It's definitely better. There we go, right here. Sorry guys, it's so bright I can't see a thing through what the camera's looking at. Any more up in there? Oh, neat. Yeah, there's a couple nice specks there. Nice. I said, and I tried to look behind the second riffle, like I don't see anything. So it looks like every all that stuff got caught right behind that first one. That might just be all that mineralization. It's a lot of heavy black sands in there. Oh, there we go. That's right on bedrock there. Good sign. Oh, I believe so. Uh, wasn't down in there, like wedged in there or anything, but it's, it's definitely on bedrock. small Yeah, it's a real flat piece of tin right here. Yeah, look how small that is. Let's go over in the shade. Careful. Really small, flat little piece of tin. Okay. Pretty good. Could have been an easily a piece of gold. So real quick, I wanted to show you. I'm having an issue. I hope you can hear. I don't know if this is a 140S flaw or what, but watch this. It's kind of pissing me off. Now watch. So the big rock shake off the top grizzly. See that? This stupid thing catches them, and I've been getting a bunch of big rocks going down on my riffle tray. I know the 151S didn't do that, because I think the, I need, probably need to angle that downward some. If it's, if it's sticking up too high, you know, I need to angle it down to let those rocks shoot off there better, but I looked in there and there was a big old rock jam, because there's big rocks going down in there. Ah. Well, part of it's my mistake, but now I got to hold. This is a brand new $800 dry washer. <sighs> I never had all these breakdowns with my Royal, to be honest with you. You know, I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm not going to be like, oh, this is neat. This is different. This is the best. 
Yes, it's a it's a dang good dry washer, but uh, these clips broke really easy that hold the, the tray. So I might have to go to the hardware store next weekend and get some kind of new clips to... So now I've got a bungee cord strapped from there all across underneath the tray here. But I was trying to just lightly, gently tap on this tray to get it go to go down so all the big rocks wouldn't go in my tray. <sighs> but that'll hold for this trip. I wonder if it, maybe it's over-engineered. I don't know. I love the 151. It's just... It was a hassle lugging a lawnmower engine 20 acres across stuff like this. Anyway, we'll get back to running. No worries, we'll get that fixed. And uh, it's it's partly my mistake. I should have stopped with you know stopped the motor and unhinged it from there, set it on the ground and tapped that aluminum tray down. Now it's hanging down. It's probably get more big rocks in there. I don't know. That's stupid. I said they were just dropping in here and going right into the riffle tray, clogging up the cleats there. Hey. I wish I wonder if I should have got a regular 140. Uh, we'll see. Like I said, I shouldn't have beat on it when it was... But it's hot and sweaty out here, so I'm just trying to get, get it done and keep moving dirt and... Uh. <laughs> well, open it up here. Hopefully the next clean out's got even bigger pieces or more. Huh. That's just so stupid, man. The rock, like I said, they're going right off there. I've got the angles pretty good on everything. And it's not going to help if I if I brought the riffle tray up more flush, it might. But then I'm going to have more rock jams because the material is going to be building up more. Well, let's get back to running and I'll be back on the next clean out. Amy was smart and went back to camp. Sitting in her nice chair under a shade awning. The cooler's full of ice cold beverages and watch this. Hi Amy. Are you comfortable? Say hi to YouTube. Oh, that shirt she's making. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's over, that's a long, that's over a lot of mountains. This thing's reaching out to talk to her, and it's got an emergency call button we both have. But here's where I ended there. Found a lot more bedrock sticking up out of here, so I brought the va vacuum parts over. I think first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to get in here and clean all that really clean. See if we can pull any more gold off that. And, uh... That was from earlier. I threw all that rock there. I even moved some of these big ones up over out of the area. And been working. After oh, a long hot day yesterday, after a few cold beers, I decided to... Uh, <laughs> the bungee cords weren't working that well, so... I kind of... Like I said, after a few drinks, I stole these off a cattle fence. And I'll put them back before I leave. It's just... <laughs> I haven't seen any cattle out here yet Yet, anyways. I tried to get a drone flight this morning and I couldn't get it to connect, but... Oh, you guys haven't seen very many videos with this yet. I'm really loving this 14 by 9 Evolution coil. And... I've been scanning the sides. I said that I found a nugget with this 4000 up in that side up there. And I was kind of scanning over here got a signal in the side and that's kind of exciting because that anything in there should technically be you know kind of virgin bank up in there i love how this coil pinpoints at the very tip right there it's so fast to recover targets it's very sensitive too and i'm actually getting away with the sensitive extra setting uh, last time I took this out, I had to back off to sensitive smooth to get it to run smoothly. But let me dig this out and we'll see what this is. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't far enough in the bank. There is a big chunk of tin, flat tin here. Let's go over and uh, that bedrock we cleared off yesterday. Scan over that. 
and then I'm gonna put the vacuum together put the fix the dry washer the best I can <sighs> uh, it's been frustrating guys I usually don't have to stop and repair the dry washer ever and adjust the box so it's not throwing rocks down into the tray the bigger rocks and then the other it's a good dry washer the other thing I I was finding I disliked yesterday is how low that dry washer sits to the ground uh, it seems like every few shovels you gotta go up and I'm not used to having to clear the tailings from in front of the dry washer that come off of it I think the Royal set up a little bit higher and I could just shovel 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 come by every so often and clear the tailings but it is kind of nice you don't have to throw the material up so high after you're tired and digging all day but uh, again it's it's a nice unit it fits right on the backpack it's light comparably and anyway let's move over to the bedrock over there and see what we can find <laughs> My washer is working a lot better with actual <laughs> the cattle fencing than the stupid bungee cords that sag. So I'm running everything from the vacuum twice through here. Here's the second run on this pan full. Looks good. All right, we brought that over. That was at vacuum full run twice look at that most everything that was caught in that riffle tray was is almost pure black sand now we didn't clean much bedrock but what we did we cleaned really well all the way down to the rock there was some really gooey stuff down in there so I'm hoping Oh man, not see anything. So strangely enough, just like I found out right over in there, I didn't find much gold on bedrock. Even down in that gooey layer, it was right on top of bedrock, a few inches above it, about the 12 to 18 inch mark down in the wash. It's just loaded, was loaded with nuggets and stuff, but that's wild. Dug all that out and, well, that means that bedrock has been cleaned probably by the old timers or somebody and it's had enough time to, not a speck. All right. Oh, what the plan is here. Yeah, I do about an hour run. Get this big rock moved. And uh, punch down in here and move a bunch of this. We'll be back. I said this thing's working much better with actual solid metal here rather than the. I was having so many problems yesterday with the 
bungee cords looped up around it. They kept sagging, and it. And I took the time to dig out a, a nice deep spot well for the, the dry washer hose to go through. So it's it's functioning a lot more smooth smoothly today. And like I said, I got a trip to the hardware store next Saturday. I'm gonna get some new. Uh, these little s these little hooks for for that there all right i'll be back all right if you remember that came off the bench or hillside came all the way down like that run this much material Whew. kind of been in production mode for about 40 minutes half hour or so and uh whoo i think we're back on the gold i was looking in riffle number one that piece of gold right there This camera is not good at focusing on it close at all, so I'm gonna have to back out right at the tip of my my finger. A little piece of gold. There's another one right there. Oh yeah, we're on the gold again, guys. I see a little nugget right there. Oh man. Good deal. And a wiry piece. There's a nugget, little nugget right there. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't move yet. Look at that. <laughs> that first riffle is just loaded with little chunks. Awesome. That's funny because they all merged to this corner over here. Let's see if there's anything in riffle number two that we can see. Not really. Okay fewer pieces but we got a really nice one in there look at that I'm trying to figure out it's going to get better going either down or in the bank so i think i'm going to this run i'm going to focus more in the bank it's a nice piece of gold So, oh, chunk. <laughs> I think I'm going to focus. I can't even stand up. <laughs> Come on, focus. Uh, instead of down on that layer, this run, I think I'm going to take more of this out and go in. And uh, first, I'm going to hit with the metal detector. What is wrong with this camera? Let's go over here. There we go. Uh... I said we'll go in here and leave the bottom alone and see if it gets better going in this way. Oh, all right, we'll be right back after a after we take a break, another break. <laughs> uh, the sun's about ready to come out over the top of the canyon here and it's going to get hot. But nice piece of gold. All right. Well, concentrating I don't know if this is bedrock or a huge rock I need to dig out. That's odd is the, as you go higher up in this bank, the material is more moist. But I'll show you, we found a couple little nuggets up in here. And it's so odd, it's so, it's, it's so high up in here. So, gotta get ready to head back to camp for lunch here soon. And before we do, I'll scan this carefully with the gold bug too. And, uh, so I think as of so far, the bigger pieces are coming up from out of here, which is strange because it's so much higher. But maybe that's all virgin wash way up high up in there in that, that bench. Look at these nuggets. You can probably see them from here. Right there. <laughs> Not weird, the best pieces came from up higher. These two. <laughs> More nice gold. I'm glad I didn't give up on this area yet. It's almost played out, but like I said, I can't go up any further upstream and I can't go any further downstream, but we're going to take out this entire bank and then we'll fill back in with some rock before we leave, but <sighs> it's nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
You look nice and clean from being out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> He's digging a hole over there. Hey. Ah. <sighs> look at these tailings. Ah, uh, there's a rock pile I threw out. Ah, uh, and it's in the 90s. Ah. Uh. Oh, we're walking back to the truck. Got a dry washer on my back. Been living in the desert for two days. Two and a half days. My hair's a mess. Got a half a beard. Uh. All right, guys. If I don't make any more videos tonight, uh, enjoy. Have a good Saturday night, and Memorial Day's coming up soon. Uh, please take time to... It's not all about just barbecuing take time to uh, remember uh, someone we lost in one of the wars or basically that sacrificed everything so we can be out here and do what we love well guys we made it back home there's some of the still nice coarse chunky and some wire pieces in there uh, that stuff and then I did um we got 0.7 on the little nuggets we got. Now it's straddling 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Then with that, maybe close to 0 0.8, 0 0.7 and a half or so. So just shy of a gram. And guys, have a great memorial, uh, rest, rest of your memorial day. And I wanted to give a special thanks to everyone that watches our videos, subscribes. Uh, give a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. We love. We read everyone and get back to every one of them. Oh, by the way, I also found. I was telling you, I found an old. It says 18 patent 1873, old Levi's button. I was detecting in that wash. In that hole, and then here's the dry washer tack I found in there. Hit part of old mining history there. I got a target really deep down there. I'm over a foot. Ah, I'm sweating like crazy now. Jeez. Either a two ounce or a, a can. But it's some kind of hard pack crunchy stuff, so I understand what a can would be doing down there, but whew, I may have to go back to camp and get the shovel. <laughs> I've been digging this out with my bare hands, and the dirt keeps sliding back in the hole, but uh, I already dug this big rock out. It was underneath it. It's down there pretty deep. I used the gold bug too to pinpoint it. Damn 12 gauge. <laughs>